Good morning, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Today we are going to learn how to zoom in on a photo using iMovie on an iPhone. So this is in response to a question I got on a video I did. You can see the link to that video in the description below. It's a video on how to do a zoom in effect on iMovie, but that one shows you how to do it on your computer. This is going to show you how to do it in the app on your phone. It's, it's actually really simple. So let's get started right now. Okay, first off, you need to start your movie project. If you don't already know how to do this, you click on Start New Movie. Again, we're in iMovie is the name of the app. It comes free on all iPhones. And then when you start your movie, it's going to ask you what clips or pictures you want in that movie. You can obviously add others to it later. But let's um, choose a few photos to throw in here to start out. Okay. Then click Create Movie. Later on, if you want to add more photos and videos, you can do that. The point of this video is to show you how to do this zoom in effect like you see here. That's also known as the Ken Burns effect, okay? You'll notice mine did it by default. It's usually set to do that by default, but let's learn how we can edit that. For example, this one zooms in or zooms out kind of, but it never shows the frog that's in the picture, okay? So let's adjust that to show what I want. Click on the picture. Then where it says Ken Burns enabled, you would click on that. That disables it. What that did is it made it so it does not move around. There's no motion to it. There's no zooming or panning or tilting. If I want it back on, I click on it and it enables it. Now, you set the start and the end position and then it fills in the rest. So if you click this arrow, that's going to take you to the start position and you're going to pinch your fingers and slide it around, okay? So pinch them or stretch them to zoom in, okay? So if I want to start, let's start like right here, okay? We'll start right there as our start position, then click the other arrow. That goes to the end position. This one I'm going to touch with two fingers, my thumb and my index finger, and I'm going to zoom in, and then one finger will allow me to, and then one finger will allow me to move the photo, okay? So that's going to be my end position. And now if I go back, push play, you'll see it zooms in how I set it to zoom in. Let's do one more just for practice. Okay, here's a picture of my son looking like Harry Potter. All right, maybe I want that one to zoom a little differently. So I click on that picture, make sure I'm at the start position, pinch or stretch my thumb and my index finger to zoom in or out, pinching, zooms out, stretching, zooms in, okay? So let's start with full eyes right there. And then let's go to the end. And we'll end right there. What a cute kid. Let's see what that looks like. There you go. That's how you create zooming or pans or tilts or any kind of motion that you want to add to your photos using iMovie on your phone. All right. Hope that helped. Remember, this is Teach Mom How. You can learn how to do anything. Please comment your questions below, and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks.